If you or someone you know has been diagnosed with glaucoma, or you're wondering what the treatment options are, and if there's a cure for glaucoma, this is a video for you. For those who are new to my channel, I'm Dr. Audrey Tai, board certified and fellowship trained cataract and refractive surgeon, ophthalmologist, and cornea specialist. Welcome to my channel, my channel about eye surgeon. I'm here to bring you the latest information on eye health and medicine. In today's video, I'll discuss the treatment options for glaucoma eye disease. If you want to learn more about what glaucoma is and what causes glaucoma in general, you may want to check out my other videos on glaucoma disease and prevention. As I discussed in my overview video for glaucoma, glaucoma damage is permanent and cannot be reversed, which means that we cannot regain the side vision that is lost due to glaucoma. Although we cannot cure glaucoma, your ophthalmologist can halt the disease progress and prevent further vision loss by controlling eye pressure. There are three types of glaucoma treatments, eye drops, laser glaucoma eye surgery, and glaucoma surgeries done in the operating room. The goal of all of these treatments is to lower eye pressure by either promoting fluid drainage out of the eye or suppress fluid production inside of the eye. Treatment type one, glaucoma eye drops. Glaucoma eye drops are the most commonly used treatment for eye pressure control. There are different types of glaucoma eye drops that are available, but all of them need to be used every day. These eye drops lower eye pressure by different mechanisms. Some reduce the amount of aqueous fluid the eye makes. Others reduce pressure by helping fluid flow better through the drainage angle. Glaucoma medications can help you keep your vision, but they may also produce side effects. Some eye drops may cause a stinging or itching sensation, red eyes or red skin around the eyes. Some may cause changes in your pulse and heartbeat, energy level or breathing, especially if you have asthma or breathing problems. Others may cause dry eyes, blurred vision, eyelash growth or changes in your eye color, the skin around your eyes or eyelid appearance. All medications can have side effects. Some drugs can cause problems when taken with other medications. It is important to talk to your ophthalmologist if you think you may have side effects from your glaucoma medicine. Never change or stop taking your glaucoma medications without talking to your ophthalmologist. Glaucoma eye drops have to be used daily to be effective. But are eye drops the only effective treatment to lower the eye pressure? The answer depends on what type of glaucoma you have. There are two main types of laser surgery to treat glaucoma selective laser trabeculoplasty, or SLT, and laser peripheral iridotomy, or LPI. They help aqueous fluid drain from the eye. These procedures are usually done in your ophthalmologist's office or at an outpatient surgery center. SLT laser surgery is for people who have open angle glaucoma and can be used instead of starting or adding glaucoma eye drops. During SLT laser surgery, your ophthalmologist uses a laser to make the drainage angle work better. That way, fluid flows out properly and eye pressure is reduced. The procedure usually takes just a couple of minutes for each eye. During the procedure, you're seeing bright lights blinking, and only numbing eye drops are used for anesthesia for this procedure. You may notice your vision in the operated eye is blurry the day of the procedure, but your vision will clear up the day after the procedure. So there is no downtime after the procedure. You'll be also on an anti-inflammatory eye drop for a few days after the procedure. LPI laser surgery is for people who have angle closure glaucoma. The ophthalmologist uses a laser to create a tiny hole in the iris. This hole helps fluid flow to the drainage angle. The process of LPI laser surgery is very similar to SLT laser surgery, and there's also no downtime after the procedure. Although glaucoma laser eye surgery is many ophthalmologists' treatment of choice for glaucoma, there are risks of increased inflammation in the eye and eye pressure spikes after the laser procedure. Also, not everyone responds to laser eye surgery. Laser eye surgery may be ineffective in some people in lowering the pressure in their eyes. So make sure to talk to your eye surgeon whether you have had laser eye surgery or want to know if it is the right treatment for your glaucoma. Treatment type three, glaucoma surgeries done in the operating room. 
Traditionally, glaucoma surgeries done in an operating room are reserved for moderate to severe stages of glaucoma that has failed eye drops and laser treatment. As there are potentially serious complications can be associated with those surgeries. Glaucoma surgeries include trabeculectomy and glaucoma shunt and tube surgery with drainage device implantation. Both types of surgeries create a new drainage channel for the aqueous humor to leave the eye. Trabeculectomy surgery is where your eye surgeon creates a tiny flap in the sclera, the white part of the eye, to create a bubble, like a pocket in the conjunctiva called a filter blap. It is usually hidden under the upper eyelid and cannot be seen. Aqueous humor will be able to drain out of the eye through the flap and into the blab. In the blab, the fluid is absorbed by tissue around your eye, lowering eye pressure. Glaucoma surgery with drainage device implantation involves your eye surgeon implanting a tiny drainage tube in your eye. The glaucoma drainage implant sends the fluid to a collection area called a reservoir. Your eye surgeon creates this reservoir beneath the conjunctiva. The fluid is then absorbed into the nearby blood vessels. An interesting fact is that for some people with narrow angles, having cataract surgery by removing the eye's natural lens can lower eye pressure. With narrow angles, the iris and the cornea are too close together. This can block eye strain a channel. Removing the eye's lens with cataract surgery creates more space for fluid to leave the eye and this can lower eye pressure. During the last decade or so, there is a new category of glaucoma surgery called minimally invasive glaucoma surgery, or MIGS, that can be done to treat mild to moderate stage glaucoma. And it can be done at the same time as glaucoma surgery. Goniotomy, canaloplasty, and trabecular micro bypass implant or eye stent surgery are few commonly performed types of MIGS surgery. Those surgeries aim to lower the eye pressure by improving aqueous fluid drainage of the eye. Imagine that the drainage system of the eye works like the plumbing system of a kitchen sink. Mixed surgeries use various devices to unclog the drain or bypass the blockage to promote aqueous fluid drainage in order to lower the eye pressure without creating drainage blobs on the surface of the eyeball. Just like any other eye surgeries, all glaucoma surgeries have the risk of bleeding infection, and many other risks that can cause potential permanent vision loss. So if you have glaucoma and are scheduled to have glaucoma surgery, make sure to discuss with your eye surgeon about risks and benefits of your glaucoma surgery. Let me know in the comments below if you or anyone you know has been diagnosed with glaucoma and what glaucoma treatment are you on or have you had. I hope you find this video helpful. If you have learned anything new, Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell because if you click that subscribe button, you will help give me the opportunity to continue to bring free videos about eye health and eye surgery to the world. Anytime you don't have 10 minutes, you can watch short fun videos about eye care tips on Instagram at Dr. Audrey Tai. And you can also follow me on Facebook and LinkedIn to learn more about my practice. I look forward to connecting with you there. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in my next video.